When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with that? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're going to be talking about takeoff. Alright, so look, man. The unfortunate news right here. I actually just woke up about 15 minutes ago, getting ready to go to the gym because y'all know I got to get my workout in. I go wash up, brush my teeth, and then I look at my phone and I see that takeoff from the Migos was murdered in Houston, Texas, allegedly over a game of dice while at a bowling alley. Now, we would like to say rest in peace to him before I get into this article. But I'm about to read this article from TMZ verbatim for y'all right quick. Take off. Dead at 28. Shot in Houston. Take off. One third of Migos is dead after an early morning shooting in Houston. Law enforcement sources and multiple witnesses tell us a fatal incident went down shortly after 2.30 a.m. That's when cops got called for a man shot at a bowling alley. A bowling alley called 810 Billards in Bowling, Houston. We are told Takeoff and Quavo were playing the game of dice when the altercation broke out, and that's when somebody opened fire. Shooting Takeoff, either in the head or near the head, he was pronounced dead at the scene. TMZ Hip Hop has obtained footage from, what, from the scene, and you can see Quavo in an orange shirt and others gather, gathered around Takeoff. At first, they tried to move him, but then they put him back down. Dang, man. And, and Quavo yelled for, for some help. Police tell us two other people were shot and were taken to the hospital in private view. It's unclear what their conditions are. Quavo was not injured. Just a couple of hours before the shooting takeoff posted a selfie from the bowling alley, Quavo had posted a video earlier in the night driving around Houston with Jazz Print, who was celebrating his birthday. Now, as you can see, uh, this incident happened inside of a bowling alley, 810 billets in Bowling, Houston, which looks like a pretty casual spot in my opinion. I'm not from Houston, so I don't know the area. It says the hours of operation are from uh, 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. on Monday through Thursday, so I have no clue what they was doing there around 2.30, 3 a.m., playing the game of dice, but that's what happened, man. And I just really hate that these rappers uh, keep getting in these situations. Situations that I feel could be avoidable. Because Takeoff and uh, Quavo, because they're a duo now, uh, Offset Solo, Takeoff on, take and Quavo, they became a duo. They just recently dropped the album, which is doing pretty good and getting pretty good feedback. They have tons of platinum songs. You can't be somewhere named the 810 Billard in Bowling. Y'all aren't regular people, fam. I'm not saying y'all can't enjoy yourself, but if you are, you gotta make sure you are good. When you go to public places like this, I don't know their situation, but you wanna be as secured as possible and not playing dice with some random street people. They don't have more to lose than you. So let's say you make them mad. You gamble them out of all of their money. Or they start arguing with you because they think you cheated. What you think gonna happen? An altercation is gonna happen. And as I said, these people don't have more to lose than Takeoff and Quavo. So they'll risk it all. Kill this man over a dice game allegedly. And this reminds me so much of uh, Little Snoop. They said that he was murdered over a game as well. I don't know if it was a dice game or not but they said it was over a game. He was playing the game with one of his uh, good friends. His friend got mad, killed him. And what's creepier about that little Snoop situation, he even got a song where on the chorus, he's rapping, he's saying, I lost it all on a dice game. And he literally did lose his life over a game. And in this situation, Takeoff literally lost it all on a dice game. And I hate this happened to him, man. He was the least flamboyant of the Migos. He wasn't always being extra. He won't talk him crazy. Like he's the one that was like real chill. Be minding his own business, man. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because death, well, it doesn't really have any moral, any principle. No matter how good of a person you are, if you're dealing with the wrong person, 
That one move could cost you your whole life, man. Takeoff was probably at that bowling alley just trying to enjoy himself. Thought he was showing love to the city, you know, out there playing dice with him. Just just for someone to kill him. It's messed up, man. And uh, my condolences to Quavo. And uh, also Offset and all of his family and friends. And hopefully this will be an eye opener for uh, Offset and Takeoff. Ah, sorry about that. Rest in peace, Takeoff. Offset and uh, Quavo. If it's not that serious, you got to let that beef stuff go, man. Y'all family. Can't let girls and egos get in the way of that. Who's to say if Offset was there, it would have went differently. I see the way Offset be cherishing his life. Hell, he got a kid to go home to and a wife. Maybe they wouldn't been at a, a bowling alley at 2.30 in the morning. Who knows? But I really hate this happened to this guy. I was just watching uh, their drink champs interview a few days ago. I was just saying how the guy was uh, extremely funny and I feel like he's the most likable out of the three Migos. But again, uh, rest in peace to him and condolences to his family. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZFBaby252. Rest in peace, take off. I'm gone. Prolific. Hey. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.